feels heavier. Let's go hoop net crabbing again. Um, last time I lost my GoPro, but since then I've replaced it. I got a little floaty thing. No one is out. There's like one kid surfing. Um, so the plan is drop the hoop net, catch some waves. After 15 minutes, go check the, uh, the, the crab trap. All right, cool. Wish me luck. Woo. Here I'm adding squid to the bait bag wrapping the line around the buoy, which I actually don't recommend you do because it causes all these twists and tangles. And lastly, securing the whole setup to my surfboard with a strap. Now that my setup is secured to my surfboard, I can pick it up, toss it in the water, and not have to worry about it coming off while paddling. I think this is far enough. Let's drop this hoop net. Um, there is a little bit of swell, but the waves aren't breaking here. I think this is perfect. There's some seagulls, so maybe that's an indicator that there's uh, some food below us. Let's pull this little keeper thing, and let's fix this guy. Make sure it goes down nice and flat. Okay, we're in a king tide, so uh, all that means is uh, there's a super high tide of like seven feet, and we're going down to a one foot tide, so. It's a big tidal difference and consequently that usually means there's a lot of water moving. So uh, more, more current and uh, with that current that's going to pick up the buoy and move the trap a little. So we'll just be careful and watch it. Okay, let's go paddle over and try to catch a wave. Yeah! Surfing's not the easiest way. Um, normally surfers um, don't wear backpacks when they're surfing. Um, just an FYI. Okay, this is another one. Oh, no, but it was breaking. It's not flipping the board around. Flipping down the line, no one's here. See that? Got a little head dip. Ooh. Gotta wash the hair. These waves are pretty small. Um, I got a nice big board which matches the uh, the wave nicely and my skill level nicely. So do you guys fish and surf too? Let me know. Man, these waves are gorgeous. So nice. So, so nice. Um, my buddy the other day saw a sturgeon floating in the water. It's these prehistoric looking fish. I think it's time to paddle over, over by those rocks where I dropped my hoop net. And uh, yeah, all right, I know you guys are rooting for me. How many crabs do you think we got? Think we got the whole, uh, we got the limit in one go? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Ooh. Oh, it's feeling light, feeling light. Okay, here we go. This is very deep. Yep, it doesn't feel that heavy. Anything? Nothing. Well, that's too bad. Let's let it soak just a little longer. Um, I'm hopeful that we're pretty far out. I bet you we're gonna catch something. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, let's catch a few more waves. Oh man, this is great! Fifteen minutes, maybe longer. Let's go paddle over. Oh, oh, this feels heavy. Feels heavier. Oh, come on. No. Oh, and 
there's a little rock guy. Hey, let's measure this bad boy. Oh, well, that's a keeper. He's got one crab that's better than no crab. Um, yeah, uh, we're in the spot. There's a little rock guy that I left soaking there, so maybe he'll uh, indicate to his buddies to come on over. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and if you haven't already, knock that subscribe button out of the park. You.